almost an S shape at the top. So curving around the head and then bringing it down the neck and slightly in. Then coming up the top of the back, which is a big semicircle, comes out to the feathers at the back. Now we're doing the opposite side of the neck, which is just following that same curve down. Uh, down under the belly and then just slightly out a bit for where the leg starts and then coming around and up for feathers and these are just really lightly placed in there because you're going to paint over the top anyway. Uh, coming back up to the head and putting in the almost banana shaped beak. A circle for the eye and then just meeting the base of the chin under there. So I'm doing it very simple and light with my pencil so that I can rub them out after, rub the lines out so that I can go in with the watercolour next. And here I'm just correcting what I didn't feel was quite right. I just wanted the nose to be a bit sharper. Which now kind of looks boomerang shaped, which I'm much more happy with. And then putting a line through the center. Now coming back down to the legs. Now these are very straightforward, just uh, a diagonal line, like a tube, and then a, where it's got the knee, which is almost like an elbow joint, bringing out another line on a diagonal, matching it up. And then with the feet, I'm not doing anything really specific. I'm just bringing a line down putting a few little twiggy like toes in and one for the back toe and then just doing the same again but this one is just a straight leg completely straight so one tube down there where it meets the other leg popping a slight shape in for the knee another tube down and then the same again with the feet just a few twiggy lines and a shorter one out the back and that is the basis that you're going to work on and now I'm just erasing all the lines so that I've just got a very faint um, placement for where I can put my paint. And then when you go in with the paint, you want to just wet the area that you're going to be putting the colour. And that stops it from bleeding out into the white section on the, on the outside of the picture. Um, this part I'm just going to speed up so that you guys can see what I did. Uh, but... If I let it play through, it would go to go a long time, so you might get a little bit bored. But if you do want something more um, showing you the exact way I do watercolours, I'm happy to do that in the future. Um, but for now, just um, enjoy, the, enjoy watching it, and I hope you guys give it a go. I love watercolour, and it's a lot of fun to do and to play with. I did this one for um, a friend's birthday card, so it was just... A, a, a simple little fun little task that I could easily convert into a card which was nice. Um, hope you are enjoying these. Please subscribe if you haven't already and like and share the video would be marvellous and I look forward to working on my next video and sharing it all with you. Thank you. Bye.